Hi guys, Muhammad No here. Okay, today I'm going to show you this uh, super yet uh, simple to use tool that will actually help you to submit your RSS feeds to uh, RSS aggregator sites. Okay, if you know uh, anything about RSS, you can actually drive a lot of traffic by submitting your RSS feeds to uh, RSS aggregator sites. See, so usually when you submit your RSS feeds and you have to submit to a lot of sites and it can take you manual if you do it manually it can take you a lot of time and waste um, your precious time you see and this will actually decrease your productivity so what do we have here is actually uh, this is what we call uh, the traffic mania rss board okay i found this uh, software in the warriorforum.com uh, is the vision 1.0 okay it's uh, created by Michaelis Big Mike and his trusted, his trusted sidekick Diego Hernando. Okay, they are actually uh, cr they created this uh, software to actually help you submit to 30 RSS aggregator sites. Okay, in just about 10 to 20 minutes. All right, uh, I'm going to show you in just a while on how to actually use this uh, RSS board. Okay, this RSS board is is really a time saver for you guys. Okay, uh, just pause this video all and I fire up the RSS board. Okay, guys. This is uh, the RSS board, RSS board uh, dashboard. Okay, this is inside RSS board. Okay, there's uh, actually four components to this. Okay, first is the uh, accounts configure, um, user data, tools, and help. Okay, uh, what you gonna do now is to start using this uh, RSS board. You go to accounts. Okay, as you get, as you can see down there, there's a there's a default profile. Uh, default profile. Okay, uh, don't touch this. Okay, you can. This is this default profile actually has all these uh, 30 RSS aggregator, aggregator sites. Okay, you actually submit to all these uh, RSS, 30 RSS aggregator sites for you. So uh, for me, I will not touch the default. Whenever I want to submit uh, my RSS feed, I will submit to this default profile. Okay, so now we go to the contact information. Okay, this contact, inf this contact information is where you put your name and uh, your company. Okay, if you don't have a company, you can just put your name down there. Uh, email, your email address. Okay, make sure you don't mix your um, main business uh, email address and uh, with this uh, RSS uh, bot email address. Okay, you don't, don't want them to be mixed up. Alright, so uh, now the URL, okay, you can just put the URL of your blog or your, the URL of your business. Okay, this is used to uh, for the RSS sites. Okay, when the RSS sites uh, requires information, Okay, RSS board. The, this RSS board will actually use this permission to submit. Okay. Okay. Now it's going to my feeds. Okay, this is where you select the feeds that you want to submit. Okay, to all the RSS aggregator sites. Okay. Uh, on how to add a URL. Okay, first you go to add new over here. Okay, add new. As you can see here. Okay. The feed URL. Okay, I'm going just going to give an example of a feed URL here. Okay, this is our example of one of my blocks, right? So I just go to here and select with the RSS. Okay, just click on it, and okay. So I just take this is the one, right? Okay, just take the link down here. This is the RSS feed. Just copy. Okay, just minimize this. Okay, now back here at uh, RSS board, right? Hold on, we'll just uh, just load for a while. All right, uh, it just hang for a while. We just hold on for a minute. Okay, that is it. Uh, this is the feed URL. Okay. Uh, most of the blocks, if you're using blocks, most of the blocks has the RSS feed. You just have to find it it's somewhere there. All right, feed name. Okay, I just give this feed name as a uh, Philips Home Okay, uh, face home DVD system. Okay, keywords uh, Philips. This is just an example, guys. Right? Oops. Okay, Philips Home Theater. 
okay. and our Philips home theater DVD system okay so description I just put a, a review of sorry that they correct me review sorry wrong spelling right there <laughs> okay review of home theater DVD system right this is just an example okay uh, you can put more information if you want to and make sure you include the keywords uh, all right you are actually i'm targeting the, targeting the keywords are uh, philips home theater dvd system down here so include in the feed name uh, include in some view in the keywords and also include in description okay so now is okay save click on save see now it appears down here Phyllis home theater dvd system and it's not processed the status here is not processed that means you have to submit it so how do you submit this um this rss feed is by clicking here clicking to the rss feed okay then go to submit all right and select a uh, default profile okay by default it's already default down there okay and make sure this is current page is the the feed okay so what you now is oh i'm sorry maybe you can guys can see okay there you go all right you can see here default and select the profile default okay and then you can click on start okay okay this is just to prove to you that you can do it in within 10 to 20 minutes time all right this is very very fast you can see here yep that's fast okay complete progress wow this is quite fast okay <laughs> previously when i did this uh, it wasn't this fast okay there's one error uh, down here but it's okay okay now uh this is where it appears a capture okay the cap you need to enter the capture code okay the good thing about uh adas's bot is that it takes the capture code and appears it in front of you so that you can type it okay you don't have to personally uh, go into the website the access site to actually enter the capture okay, this is all the ping sites yeah now it's completed as you can see uh, there's a few areas here but it's okay because most of the sites has been submitted you got about four to five areas down here but this has been submitted so what you want to do now is close okay as you can see it's submitted all right that's how fast it is to actually use this uh, RSS bot to submit your RSS feeds. It's really, really, it's a time saver for me, and I, I hope it will be a time saver for you guys too. Okay, uh, this software I'll give the, you the link to this uh, to purchase this software below this video, just below this video. Okay, uh, I uh, just for information for you guys, uh, this is a water special offer by Big Mike. Okay, I'll, uh if you want to purchase this i hope you do it quickly because i because big mike might pull it out and charge a higher price for this okay right now the price is just seven dollars okay the link below is a not an affiliate link i don't get any commissions for it i just want to enjoy i want to you to benefit from this um rss bot software okay and also as a christmas gift to you guys all right so uh thank you for watching this video the link is below okay make sure you check out the the software and just to wish you guys a uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Hi, Andrew Paxton here with RSS Bot, an RSS submission software. Uh, one of the better ones out there. In fact, I've tested this against a lot of other uh, software and I get much better results from RSS Bot. It's quick, it's efficient, it's easy to use. As you can see, it defaults to 30 of the top ranked RSS aggregators including FeedAge, Ice Rocket, Octora, FeedAg, RSS Mountain, all the top ranked RSS aggregators are included. As a nice feature about this program is you can set up your own profiles the way you want to do it. So if you click here on new profile and then 
choose a new account name you can change the the company details as well you could have different uh, personal details but just to do a little test let's call this test and I want this profile to submit there 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 and there okay sites that don't need a login sites that don't need a capture save that profile and we've set up a new profile called test obviously we, we'd call it something else that will just submit to these uh, RSS aggregators that, the ones we've selected and that's a nice way to do it because sometimes you don't want to wade through uh, all the RSS aggregators you just want to submit to some which will be completely hands-off so no captures and no logins but the full profile is 30 RSS aggregators now submitting uh, a feed is very very straightforward just click my feeds here I've got one in here already it's the RSS feed from Paxton from Paxton's marketing group info it's got the keywords it's got the description and I can just submit by clicking the submit tab I won't do that now because I've, I did that quite recently I don't want to overdo it and it's also got a nice feature built in a ping feature so that will actually go out and ping uh, the feeds you've submitted to the RSS aggregators so that gets things spiders running to the feeds uh, a lot quicker you get a lot of exposure with RSS but as I said it's a very powerful software very easy to use uh, I've tested this extensively I this is what I use to submit all my RSS feeds never had any problems with it now it's not designed to create accounts automatically you have to visit the sites but it gives you the sign up details here so you just click the URL and it will take you to the sign up page the good thing about RSS feeds is you don't need to have loads of account profiles to submit your RSS feeds that's the whole thing about RSS is when you add uh, a new item into your feed it updates automatically so I usually have one set of accounts per niche you don't need to overdo it uh, as I said though this does not submit that uh, this does not create accounts automatically you have to physically click on all the sites uh, go on to the ones that need login uh, and sign up for your accounts there hope you've enjoyed this quick presentation of RSS bot uh, it's a great way to really put your RSS submission into overdrive thanks for watching